E allora di nuovo che mi ci porto in break. Today's video is uh, more normal. After my previous video was uh, something different. Uh, I, I don't know if I may uh, want to see more music videos. I think you did pretty well, but please uh, leave your thoughts in the comments uh, if I should do more. Yeah, this is a uh, fairly normal video. It's a Super Skylab. Basically, I was on the Blue Dog Design Bureau thread on the KSP forums. I saw this extended Skylab with the second stage also being used as part of the space station. And so I thought I would do that myself. Because a Blue Dog Design Bureau does provide a wet lab variant of the S2 stage, basically you can drain the fuel and use it as a space station module. What I've done is the logical thing of adding that onto a standard Skylab, except for some reason to get the necessary Delta V for orbit, I had to convert the Skylab into a wet lab variant as well. Yeah, we have some more propellant in the Skylab itself, as well as I put some extra boosters on the first stage, and that's enough to uh, barely gas into orbit. Now, I'm sorry for the ascent, prof ascent profile seen in this video. Basically, uh, just, I messed up uh, by uh, doing that long uh, shot at the beginning, which uh, meant that I didn't start pitching over soon enough, which led to an absolutely atrocious gravity turn. But we end up getting into orbit anyways, a little bit inefficiently. And so we can actually first circularize our orbit. And you may notice that I messed up and forgot to turn engine reliability back on. I turned it off because herbalism cannot comprehend superior Soviet engineering. And for the last video, the engines had way too few ignitions. And I, I forgot to turn it back on. Well, anyways, we're doing our normal Skylab activities, and we actually managed to survive ascent without losing our solar panels. So we can rotate the telescope into place. And we're so slowly. And then... Almost, maybe. Of course, I need to make sure the telescope is locked. And then... There we go, solar panel deployment. And yeah, there's some extra solar panels on the S2, which are actually extended variant. And I did seriously consider having uh, the. Uh, there's some options on the BDB. Blue uh, Dog Design Bureau. I'm not sure if I'm going to use the acronym or the full name. Yeah, there's options to have it uh, be uh, damaged so with some of the heat shielding and one of the solar panels can uh, destroy it on launch. I've already decided to have this be an idealized uh, version of Skylab. But with the station in orbit, obviously we need to send some crew up to it. And so enter this vehicle. It's uh, based off of a uh, liquid fuel booster for a potential Saturn V modification. And I instead use that as a core for a Saturn 1 type vehicle with the S4B. I guess it would really be more Saturn 1 Saturn 1B type vehicle. Yeah, just Apollo spacecraft, S4B, and then a singular stick booster. And, and just yeah, I also saw this on the BD on the Blue Dog Design Bureau, Blue Dog Design Bureau thread. I really messed myself up by uh, Starting with the acronym instead of the full name. I saw somebody else do this, and I also thought it was cool and uh, had a better capabilities than a normal Saturn 1B. You can see the escape tower press in, and it's a standard Apollo spacecraft, no extended configuration or shortened uh, service module or anything like that. And uh, that uh, enhanced capabilities of this vehicle, uh, those are beneficial since, uh, again, made a atrocious gravity turn. We were still able to get on a somewhat correct trajectory. And after a very long time, still yet to go to be circularized. For some reason, the EVA light deployed. And uh, right now, not much is happening. I 
I probably should mention that definitely seen this, but uh, yeah, I'm now using a Z theme. It's an alternative look for the KSP UI, and you can find it by just searching on the KSP forms. And I'm also using a custom TUFX uh, profile, which I believe is one of Ballistic Fox's profiles. And I searched for that on the KSP forms as well. Guys, yeah, you saw we had finished our Orpo insertion burn, and we're actually on a track to uh, rendezvous with the station, and we've deployed the spacecraft from the, uh, from the upper stage. And after a standard rendezvous, we are approaching the uh, station, but all of a sudden the Apollo telescope mount tries to attack us. I don't know why, but all of a sudden, just, it wasn't locked, except it still was. Oh, I'll show you in a second. When I click on the ro robotic part, you can see that it's locked, but it's just rotating. And I eventually end up turning the uh, damping up on that. But uh, yeah, after uh, backing away uh, from the docking port and waiting for the uh, telescope to rotate back into position, we'll be able to resume docking shortly. Not much really to say here, is there? But we can start approaching the station again. And not really anything happening here, is there? But finally, we can... There we go. And from here we can uh, convert uh, the two wet lab modules into just deep lab modules. I could have uh, done this more realistically and actually had uh, a fuel vent somewhere on here, but then uh, just, I didn't think of that at the time, to be honest. But uh, regardless, we can then go on an uh, on a IVA tour of the craft, We're going through uh, the uh, docking module, into the main uh, scaling lab, uh, this uh, habitation module. Unfortunately, the IVA is not set up to allow us uh, to go into the uh, S2 lab. But still, we can have a nice look around at this uh, detailed IVA, with some uh, nice uh, little easter eggs scattered around. Including, if we go down here... Almost... Okay, just looking at some instruments, but as I go over, you can see uh, some uh, nice uh, cardboard cutouts. I have nothing else to say here, I was not going, I was unsure where I was going with that. Yeah, this nice IVA tour. Again, free IVA is one of the best KSP mods of all time. But yeah, that uh, rounds up this video. I want to uh, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe, and goodbye!